Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesigner techtips.com. Well, we've been putting together this little website here. We've got a hero section here if we scroll down. We've got a little about us section with some scroll effects going on there, a little animated title. We've got a sticky quote bar up there. When it gets to the top it's going to stick and change colour. There we go and a little services section we did yesterday. Today we're going to do this sort of animated full width video project section. Really easy to do. We're using the Divi theme here, we're not using any plugins, we're just using the inbuilt features. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is enable the visual builder. Once enabled I'm going to go down to where we want to work. And let's just delete this section here. Blue tab for a section. I'm just going to hit the trash can, get rid of it. And let's start from scratch. I'm going to hit the little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. Inside, I'm going to put a column of four. And for my counters, I'm going to use number counters right here. Put in whatever it is you want it to say. Whatever number you want it to count up to. Now you can have a percentage sign or you can just have a regular number. I'm going to have a regular number and turn off the percentage sign with the elements just down below. Okay, I'm going to leave that just as it is for the time being and let's take care of the section itself. So I'm going to go into the section, again the blue tab right here. And we want to give it a background. Now when you're giving these a video background, you also want to give them either an image or a color for a fallback. Because on a lot of mobile devices, it won't show the video. And so if you put a color or a background image in, it'll fall back to that image. So they got something back there. So I'm going to go over to a great free stock photo site called Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S dot com. And I'm going to search for computer videos or computer images. Here we go. I want something with a fairly dark background. That'll do nicely. I'm going to click on it. I don't want the highest resolution, 1920 would probably be the smallest I want, so I'm going to get it large, you want to keep it as small as you can. And great free site, give them a tweet or whatever if you want to donate, that's great too, because they work hard these people. And let's get a video, so if we go back up to the top, we can search the videos. And I want a computer video also. It's already got our results up here. And again, I want something with a dark background. I think I used that last time. I guess I'll use that one again. And again, click on it because we don't want the highest resolution because that'll put a lot of strain on our server. You don't want to have too many videos natively uploaded to your website. It's okay to stream them, embed them. So 1920 will do fine. In fact, HD is going to be fine. 1280 by 720. I'm going to use that and hit the download button. As you can see, it's downloaded both my image and my video down here. Okay, so we're in our section. Let's go to background. I'm going to put the image in. I've actually already got that image uploaded here. If not, just drag it up here. So I'll use that one again. And now let's go over to video on the right hand side. Unfortunately it doesn't support YouTube videos but I do have a workaround for that. If anybody wants to see it I'll, I'll put a video about how to use a YouTube background up. So I'm going to hit the add background video. I've actually got all mine, mine uploaded already. If not just pull your video up here and upload it. It's the one I did earlier. And if you need to, you can preview it here. That's the wrong one. So we want this one, that's the one I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload that to the background. 
And if we roll down a bit, we'll put the correct width and height in, and it was 1280 by 720. I've got no other videos on this page at the moment, so I can leave that off. It's a great idea not to have it play while it's not in view, so that it's not taking up so much resources. And as you can see, that video is in the background now. Great. So we've got our video background, we've got our fallback image. Let's go and style our little module right here. So dark tab for a module, green tab for the row. I'm going to go into the module. I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm just going to go over to design title text and make it white as with all Divi text modules they have got a crazy amount of fonts that you can choose from here they really do and just hover over one it'll give you an example of it but I'm going to use the default today and my number text again you can choose the font size boldness everything like regular text settings I'm going to keep that white too. Great. Now I'm simply going to clone this. Two little boxes to clone it right there. Pull it over next door. Go into this one. Give it a different title. Give it your stat number, whatever it is you want to put in here. And I'm going to rinse and repeat. And one more time. Okay, so we've got four little stack counters there, and I think I want to spread them out to take out the whole width of this row that we've got going on here. So let's go into the row, the green tab, or I should say full width of the section, little cog right there. I'm going to go with design, sizing. I'm going to pull the width up to 100%. I'm going to copy that, control C, and paste it in the max width down below, control V. Or you can just type it in. As you can see, they're spread out throughout the section there, which is a bit more like it. Great. So we're almost there now. Now what I'm going to do is steal a title that we say to our library in the one of the first videos. And I'll put that video link below if anybody doesn't know how to create the animated title we got going on here. So I'm simply going to add a new row because we saved it as a row. I'm going to add it from the library. And we called it White Title. There it is right there. Now I want this to be on the top. So I'm simply going to drag it by the little cross up there. Left click, drag it up to the top. And there it is at the top. And that's got a little animation on our uh, little bar at the bottom there. Okay. So I'm doing pretty well here. I just want to add a bit more padding to the bottom of this section. So I think I'm going to add a probably extra 100 picks, just make it a bit deeper. So let's go into the section, the blue tab, design, spacing. And I'm going to add 100 pixels to the bottom. Fantastic. And I'll save this, our animation will start back up again. Little purple buttons, save the page changes. Actually, before we do that, I want to name this section. I did this in the last video, forgot to name the section. I'm going to call this project. And the little line underneath will adjust that so it doesn't overflow too much from the actual word itself. So we're going to the little divider that we used for that. Sizing. And let's just take it down with the little arrows. That will do nicely about there. OK, let's try that again. We'll save the page changes. And let's exit the Visual Builder. And we'll scroll on down. 
and there it is. There's our little full width project section with animated counters there. How easy was that? So I hope you've enjoyed this today, guys, and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.